I've been here since the earth cooled, <laughs> since 1970. And this will conclude 45 years of service to PHM. The uh, theater started out in 1980 with an optical mechanical system. And we did that, we ran that for about 30 years to the point where we wore the equipment out and it was time to switch to a digital system which allows us to do things that we couldn't even dream of doing with the old system. The, uh, an example of that would be that we can present shows now that deal with uh, a wide variety of content area. And not only astronomy, which we can do extremely well and way better than we could in the past, but we can also do history and geography, uh, shows of that nature. We can go into the human body so um, it, it, it's really a fascinating piece of equipment that allows us to do many content areas and give the kids an experience of uh, presence as though they are there. We also have a high school astronomy class. We have two of them. And uh, that involves around 40 students per class. So uh, they're getting a very good education in there as well with all the things that we can do. Again, giving our audience a sense of presence, putting them there, going into the universe and placing them somewhere off the earth and looking around at things is a pretty unique experience. We uh, serve the entire community and we do uh, a K through eight uh, programming. So uh, through our learning division, uh, students from kindergarten through eighth grade are bused over here uh, to see uh, a show that suits their needs. Uh, we also have high school classes that come over for uh, a variety of different shows dealing with uh, history, geography, astronomy, and chemistry, and biology. Those things can be presented here in the theater. So. The uh, new system allows us to do way more than what the old system uh, allowed us to do. And the old system was pretty darn good, I might add, because we did cover uh, a few content areas and we really focused on science. Now we do more than that. We also have public shows that uh, this year I think we'll have mm, a little over 50 public shows. And again, it's the technology that allows us to to do this, so we're simply taking advantage of the technology, uh, which benefits the community, our students, and surrounding school districts that do come in. The uh, planetarium has been very, very successful over the past 35 years, and that is due to uh, something that Dr. Thacker talks about all the time, and that's the triangle of success. But here, I like to think of it think of it as the hexagon of success because it involves uh, leadership at the top, which is the superintendent. It involves the school board. It involves administration. It involves community. It involves students. And it certainly involves teachers. So together, that makes the program successful. And that's why this has been successful because so many people have contributed to it and continue to contribute.